How did she? How did she kind of grow in this environment, at South Carolina? I mean, being in South Carolina it grows on you. You know, any any layers that you have, you you peel back because people are just so nice. I, and I thought Camilla coming into our situation, um, we had a nice team, like really nice, easy to get along with um, basketball team. So she peeled down her layers, and allowed us to be um, a part of her growth. And I think we were lucky to have her, and I, I do think she was lucky to have us. Coach, you've talked about how this team has met the moment, the biggest moment tomorrow. Describe how the moments leading up to this game has prepared this group. Um, we're ready. We, we've had a lot of basketball moments in which, uh, I mean, there were some good ones, some bad ones, some ugly ones, but um, our, our team will rely on the familiarity of of being in any situation and, and seeing their way through because they've survived it and they've just survived it in a way of, of winning basketball games. So we got to tap into that because you'll, you'll go through all those emotions of, uh, of good plays, bad plays, executed plays, um, things we need to, you know, things that we fall short on. Um, but I think with this particular basketball team, they don't think about losing. So everything is geared towards what we need to do to win the game. So I just hope they, they, they stay in that headspace. Is your size an advantage, a pretty significant advantage going into this game against Iowa? It seems like from the outside it really is. I mean, our size has been our advantage all season long. So I, we're not going to take into the game anything different. Our depth is, I think, will we'll hopefully pay big dividends for us in a game setting like this. Um, you know, but it's going to be a it's going to be a tough game. It's not going to be one that we're going to walk over how it will, or they're going to walk over us. It's going to be a really uh, executed game, and whoever comes out with the biggest run or the the more stops is going is going to win the game. John, your players have you're, you said yesterday on the broadcast with Aaliyah, you want to win this for the Freshies. Your players have talked about how badly they want to win it for you. That they they think you deserve this national championship. We hear week in and week out in FCLA, coaches in the SEC, coaches in the league that look up to you. How have you fostered that? How do you get those players to buy it? I mean, they love you so much. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a, it's really a two-way street. You know, I think when, when you're able to treat people good, they treat you better. That's the mentality. I mean, I got that from, from one of my friends from South Carolina who said it, his grandmother said, if you treat people good, they'll treat you better. And it's probably, you know, something that is innate in me. I mean, it's, it's been part of my upbringing is to treat people good. And I'm very fortunate that, you know, I probably got the, the better end of it because of it. Um, so I do. I want to I wanna win for, obviously, our current team, our current roster, but also, you know, give the freshies and – and Victoria and, and Kiera an opportunity to erase, you know, what was a, you know, sour taste in their mouth. Don, talk about me on, at, times this team, at times this team has referred to themselves as a seatbelt game. How much are they relishing the matchup with Caitlin Clark tomorrow? You know, it's, 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 it's all, was it Caitlin or, or, or UConn, I think is, Whoever the opponent is, is in our way to become a national champion. So it doesn't matter who it is. Whoever, whoever shows up in this particular game, we got to play. And we know it's going to be a great team um, filled with great players who want it as much as we want it. Um, so it's going to be a battle of wills. And I, I, like, the, I like the team that we, we are going to put on the floor tomorrow afternoon.